What's going on YouTube? V here. So, we got some V Jump news. The Dark Destruction deck has just revealed some cards to us, and it's pretty insane. In fact, I, one of the things in my channel that I get a lot of grab about, well, it used to, not as much anymore, but it was my love for the card Full Force Virus. And I remember saying when that card Full Force Virus came out, how, listen guys, Konami always makes virus cards and they always see money. They guarantee they always see money for virus cards. And Full Force Virus came out like a dollar and was around a dollar for a long while. And I think that price might change. In fact, I think a lot of cards prices might change. By the way, I am working on a market watch. It should be up after this or later on in the day. So definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed before. Hit the like button. And oh, as always, please comment below and read all comments. I'd love to know you get, and get you guys' opinion, especially on this. So I'm really excited, guys. I, I, I we have Nationals couple of months. I'm looking forward to what I'm going to be playing. I don't, I didn't know what I was going to be playing, but evidently I'm playing this at Nationals. This comes out April 20th here in America. It is uh, uh, the Dark Structure Deck. Let me get a picture of that. Layer of Darkness Structure Deck Reloaded. Pretty cool. Um, this comes out April 20th, guys. I'm really excited about this, and I hopefully you guys are as well. My dog just passed me. Okay. Um, Darkness Diablos, Lord of the Lair. Level 8 Dark Dragon Effect Monster, 3000 Attack, 2000 Defense. You can use the first and third effect with this card's name only once per turn each. So the first effect is, if a Dark Monster you control, or monsters, you control is tributed, and this card's in your hand or graveyard, best summon this card. The third effect, the one that you can use once again once per turn, uh, you can tribute one Dark Monster. Tribute one, one, uh, you can tribute one Dark Monster. Your opponent controls one card from the hand, for you to return to either the top or the bottom of the deck. So you put it goes this one, and you're like, hmm. Bottom of the deck. <laughs> and its second effect, you, your opponent cannot tribute this card. Also, this card not cannot be tributed, uh, uh, cannot be targeted by opponent's card effects. So basically, your opponent cannot kaiju this. Your opponent cannot lava gold on this. Your opponent can't tri uh, tribute this monster in any way, shape, or form. This card does not care about your feelings. It's cold hearted. Up next, Lidoff, Lady of Lament. Level 3 Dark Fiend Effect Monster, 2 has attack, 0 defense. You can use the second effect uh, uh, with this card's name once per turn. First effect, though, if this card is normal summon, its real attack becomes 1,000. Uh, the second effect, which is a quick effect, you can tribute one Dark Monster. Reveal three normal track cards from your deck. Your opponent randomly chooses one for you to set, and you shuffle the rest back into the deck. It's kind of like pod duality, so your opponents know what's happening, and there's normal traps, and you get to choose, and virus cards are normal traps. That's a thing. So you just look at your opponent and go, what deck you're playing? Hmm, okay. I'm going to look at my deck for these three cards. Oh, they, they are pretty good. Okay. Choose it randomly. Good luck. Joking. They're all the same fucking card. Okay. These two go back in the deck. Um, And then that you know, this becomes a thing. Uh, by the way, the card gets set, which is kind of cool, too. So that's a, you know... You just put that bitch face down and continue your turn and see what happens, motherfucker. Okay, that's pretty good. Third one. Uh, Ahi uh, Arima, King of Wickedness. Level 4 Dark Fiend Monster, 1700 attack, 0 defense. You're going to use a second effect with this card named once per turn. First effect says, you can discard one, one, you can discard this card at a layer of darkness from your deck to your hand. So, okay, it's kind of like terraforming. Second effect, you can tribute one Dark Monster, draw one card. Or, if a dark monster other than this card was tribute to activate this effect, you can add one dark monster with 2,000 or more defense from your deck to your hand instead of drawing. Wow! 2,000 or more defense. 2,000 or more defense! Layer of Darkness. Field spell. Face up monsters on the field become dark attribute. There we go. The whole field becomes dark. Oh, I, 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 you summon Consecrated Light? Great. We're not doing shit, are we? Set face down pass. Anyway, uh, once per turn, if you attribute a monster to activate this card or effect, you can tribute one dark monster your opponent controls as if you controlled it. Oh, thanks. You just play this field spell, look at your opponent's field and go, all right, tribute your Lycoris. <laughs> so fucked up. It's so good. Uh, you, you just, you just, your opponent had Lycoris and now he doesn't because you tribute it because it's dark. It's not light. Which is, which is more amazingly, this field spell by itself destroys Honest. Just obliterates the card Honest. Just throw it out there. Once we turn the end phase, special summon to the turn player's field in the defense position as many shadow tokens, Fiend, level 3, a thousand attack, a thousand defense, as possible after the number of monsters that were tributed while this card is facing the field. 
good. And the last card we have so far, there's going to be more coming out, guys, by the way, is Grinning Gray Virus. A normal trap card. Should be one dark monster with 3,000 or less attack. Your opponent is choice one card from the hand or deck for every 500 attack the tributed monster had. Also, if a dark monster with 2,000 or more attack was tributed to activate this card, check all the cards that your opponent draws until the end of the third turn after this card activation and destroy all monsters among Just all monsters. Yeah, fuck them all. Um, and also, and also cards sent to the graveyard because they were destroyed by this card effects cannot activate their uh, effects during turn this card was destroyed. Their turns, they were destroyed. Wow. It's a lot to absorb, guys. Y you know, it it it's like, this card still fucks Burning Abyss because of that last line. The last line is like, yeah, yeah, I know they were destroyed. No, I, no, I know they were destroyed, but, um, I know you have graveyard effects, but I destroyed Darkness Di I destroyed my Darkness Diablo, so you don't have graveyard effects. Or, this card being used against Dracos, especially pure Dracos, that they don't have many monsters. Pure Dracos that limits the amount of monsters, you resolve this card, popping a Darkness uh, Diablos, popping two Darkness Diablos, that's it, your opponent does not have a deck anymore. He, I mean, yes, he still has his disciples, and he still can shuffle the cards, I agree with you. But this deck could also run Eradicate Epidemic Virus, that it can search fucking out. It can search out Eradicate Epidemic Virus, it can search out Grinning Grave Virus, it can search out all the viruses, with Lidoff. Thanks, Lidoff. It's pretty dumb. Anyway, guys. This is the, the Darkness Structure deck. I, I have a Mark Watch coming out for you guys about this Structure deck. I'm really excited about this deck. I, I, I might be the new deck jitters, but I just think this deck's insane. I think Konami has done this uh, constantly in the past, and sometimes they miss, sometimes they don't. Um, I'm not sure what we had last year as far as the Structure deck that was a deck, but I know before that we had Monarchs. We had Grave Keepers. Uh, we have all these weird Structure decks that become like Tier 1. Konami's like, okay, Tier 1 is Money Deck, Money Deck, Structure deck. With some cards added into it. And I think this is going to be the meta. And I don't know man. I, I don't see anything else coming out that's new, you know, in the future that I personally want to play. I think I'm going to play this deck. One, because it's fucking amazing. And, and two, it's because I got the run virus cards. And I love the virus cards. I own 50 full force viruses. I talked about this a while ago. I invested on it. I think I paid $30 or $31 for 50 full force viruses. Uh, people thought I was crazy, people made fun of me, some people bought along with me, and everyone's like, yeah, we got a V, and I said, this Volvo Virus is going to be a long-term uh, kind of card, because I think it will be valuable in the long term. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think I'm, I might be wrong, it might be mid-term, I'm not sure if Volvo Virus might be bought out because it's not, but I know we're seeing in the market a lot of cards being bought out, and I'll have that coming up in the market watch, but guys, let me know what you think about this card. Are you going to run a Lord of Darkness with this kind of deck, uh, uh, um, or part of Zyres, or both, you know? Are you gonna run terraforming, or or you think this guy uh, uh, here, my king of the wickers, is, is enough? I mean, we got what one, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Is there any more cards coming out in here that supports this deck? Obviously, this is the main cards. I think this is, this is gonna be the main cards that's that's obviously supports this deck. But is there anything else that's gonna come out to support this deck? Are we getting any more monsters? Any more? Even though it sounds greedy because we kind of have a rota, but any more rota cards for this deck to allow you to add this guy back into your hand faster, to allow you to run to this card a lot faster. Uh, um, obviously, you can play Terraform to get this card faster. Obviously, you can use uh, Lidoff to search this card out. And um, I don't know, this is a very interesting deck. I Like I said, I really do like it, guys. Uh, I'm excited about running a lot of virus cards. I already told everyone, uh, um, I think my live stream, uh, and as I was doing the live stream, I was like, why is. Uh, uh, Shadow and Prison Mirror not bought out yet. And then Shadow and Prison Mirror got fucking bought out to do a tournament one. By the way, that card was a dollar. Um, sorry that I said the card was gonna get bought out. And I gave, I gave everyone, like, two weeks warning about Shadow and Prison Mirror. And by the way, in case you, you're like, oh man, I missed it, no big deal. Go buy Light and Prison Mirror. Because I guarantee you, Konami will ultimately have a light attribute kind of deck. And running three skill drains called Light and Prison Mirror that only affects your opponent because they're running a pure light deck. Well, fuck them. Like, Shadow Prison Mirror is going to be pretty good in this deck. Even though the field spell... <laughs> the field spell is weird because the field spell makes it... So, see, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to play your Shadow Prison Mirror. And then you're going to have to pop this field spell to fuck this deck over. Because I think that will ultimately will screw the deck over. Uh, in my opinion. Um, but I don't know, guys. Let me know what you guys think about this deck. Do you, are you going to play this deck? Are you not going to play this deck? Do you like this deck? Do you hate this deck? Do you think it's gimmicky? Do you think it's tier 1 confirmed? Let me know what you guys think. Please, I always read all your comments below. And as always, subscribe to my uh, you know, my channel. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button, guys. And always hit the notification bell. Be the first person alerted to my videos. Anyway, guys, your boy VCTRS got my videos. That's my two cents. You guys have a great fucking day.